M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I had a couple of people message me about the 52 and just tell me that they've decided that they want to keep their 51. And the main reason they're all saying is, just turn this down, is that <clears throat> they like the size of it. Because if you if you think about it, the 51 is it's quite a nice, comfortable size. And although it, looking at the 52, it's not way bigger, but it's big enough to feel a bit too big for your pocket and a bit a bit too big in the in your, in your hand. And you are worried about dropping it because it feels heavy. Although I wouldn't say there's a massive difference in the weight. So I just thought I'd show I'd show these, show you from the back. And um, the back uses the the same battery. So I'll just show you it from the back and the side. It is what the you know the 52 is wider now. Do you miss out on much if you haven't got the 52? So I'd say the main thing you miss out is you lose the larger color screen and the Bluetooth. But really, and the scope, yeah, the, the scope I know is very appealing to some people. You do have a kind of scope on the 51. So we'll just turn the scope on so you know what that looks like. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some activity and you can see that with a bit of luck. I'm trying to find some now. Let's try the B band. There you go, there's the scope. So <clears throat> that, I'd say that's what you're missing out on really. I mean, there are other functions and extra functions and extra kind of connections. I mean, you can charge the 52 using the USB, can't you? You can't do that with the 51. But otherwise, DR mode, dual band, all works well. GPS, we have that on both radios. With the 52, you can use the cable to use the uh, the app that ICOM have for sending photographs. I'm trying to think what else. So I think it's a preference. I mean, to me, the 52 is such a solid device. It's almost like a base station. You put the 52 next to your ICOM 7300 uh, or 7610, you've got the full setup. And the other thing is that the 52 has dual D-Star receive simultaneous. You, you, can, you can't get that on the 51. The 51 will receive dual band, it will do that, um, but one has to be analog, one has to be digital, and then it will receive both. But the 52 will receive two digital si signals at the same time, and you have got a, bit, a bigger speaker. It, it, it is a bigger speaker. The keypad layout is very similar, and very similar in size. Um, yeah, they've moved around, they've changed the positioning a little bit, like you've got the low power on here where it says LO there uh, and things like that. But really overall the functions are similar. The 52, I mean they're both really, I would say, a lot of learning, a big learning curve to do on both these radios. If you just go to VFO mode and just put in, you know, frequency, tone, shift, tone frequency, then yeah, I suppose that's fine. But the second you delve into, into DR mode, um, and all the other functionality, and uh, they both got DPRS, which is ICOM's version of of APRS um, time. So it's a different kind of layout for the menu. You've got a grid version here on the fifty one. It's a list, but in that list, many things are there. You know that are on both radios. So my choice is definitely to keep both both radios. I I you know I wait for this one the battery to go flat. Uh, and then I've got this one on charge and I'll pick this one up for a few hours, three, four hours. And when it gets low, I'll swap to this one. So for me, it's a keeper. You know, I could get, I could sell the 51, have a couple of hundred pounds in my bank account, but I'm not going to have any fun with the 200 pound. But with the radio, um, I get several questions about the 51 as well. I just love digging it out and, and using it. Um, and same goes for all the radios that I have. And that is even if you had 20 radios eventually you know you can just go to them pick them up and uh, and use them and if you ever need the need some extra cash uh, then yeah sell it and they, they tend to hold their value at least 60 70 percent of the value is retained so thanks for watching my channel hope you're enjoying your d-star radios anyway lots of good equipment coming out and icom are doing a great job i'm very pleased with my all of my icom equi equipment so 73 catch you on air if you're finding my interest my videos interesting fun 
uh, please subscribe and um, catch you on air very soon. 7-3, all the best.